Hi, hello, and thank you for clicking on this video. Um, for those of you who already know me, you may notice that I've changed my channel name, and that's because over the last four years, I've also changed my name in my day-to-day -day life. I no longer go by my given name, which was my channel name prior. Uh, I now go by Ali. So just to get that out of the way really quickly. So I realize I haven't made a video in like four years, like I said, and I haven't really made an appearance on this channel at all. And it kind of ties into um, like the bigger part of why me even making this video and why I feel the need to kind of restart my channel, but very differently. And I'll explain that here in a minute. But I do think it's important to point out that it's very easy to get stuck in your own way. And I think that's what's happened to me where, you know, you just you don't feel you're ready or you don't feel like you're the type of person to have a channel on YouTube to begin with, and then to have like the utter lack of confidence that just kind of like ruins everything you want to do. I think that's why the new year is so easy to start things again, because it's such a new slate. Like it's kind of difficult to start things in the middle of something, or at least that's kind of how we're conditioned to think about it. And I think that's why there's always New Year's resolutions and all of these things and why a lot of us feel we'll start our diet on Monday. We'll start it on Monday because Monday is the beginning of the new week and it's just easier for our minds to wrap around the start of something when we do it in correlation with the beginning of something new, like the year or the week. So the very obvious difference between the last time I was making content and right now is you'll notice that I'm not on camera and I'm doing more of like a podcast style of content. And that's because I just feel more comfortable with it. I feel much more content and I feel like there's opportunity for me to be open and honest and a lot more passionate about the things I want to talk about and do. When I was making content before and I forced myself to be on camera because I thought that was just where I was supposed to be at the time, I was always worried about my appearance, and I've talked about my appearance multiple times before, where I'm just not comfortable or confident in my own appearance. Very much a shame-based thing that I'm starting to deal with, but I think a lot of you can understand and, and appreciate the amount of shame you can have interjected into yourself, and how that, you see that mostly, more so than you see yourself. That's a huge thing that I'll be working on a lot and sharing my experience and my journey with that. I personally enjoy podcast style content anyway. Um, I like to use podcast style videos to listen to while I'm cleaning, taking a shower, doing things that I don't need to like focus on. And I also think it's just going to give me the opportunity to not worry about my appearance it's going to give me the opportunity to be more open because I don't have to be worrying about something else when I'm trying to discuss something that I'm passionate about or that I'm excited about or something that I feel really strongly about. And with that, I think it's important to consider our starting points. You know, not everyone is going to have the same exact place that they can start and end up successful. And I think that's huge. We need to remember that some people can start farther ahead than us because they are set up for success enough to get there. We're not all starting at the same points. And just because, for example, I'm going to be starting at rock bottom, like that's just the reality of the situation. I'm literally at my rock bottom. My rock bottom looks different than other people. And people aren't starting from the rock bottom sometimes. And I think it's important to remember that the main point of what we're trying to do is set ourselves up for success. And if you start too far ahead, you are sure to fail. If you set yourself up for success in the beginning, and if that means starting and doing tiny baby steps and starting from the ground, then that's what I'm going to do. And that's where I'm at, right? So lastly, um, the biggest question I think I have for myself, and maybe you are considering this question as well, is this a weight loss channel? And the answer to that question is sort of like, no, it's not a weight loss channel in the sense of it's not going to be the main focus. I think I've come to learn that my weight gain and my food addiction is a symptom of the issues that I'm experiencing. So while I do need to get them under control and I do need to fix them, I think the most important part of this is that through therapy and through, you know, 
focusing on the other parts of my life that are contributing to those issues, I think it's going to be less difficult to deal with those once I have a lot of other issues under control, if that makes any sense. So while I'm not going to be doing like specifically weight loss things, weight loss is very much part of what I am doing. Um, I will talk about my weight. I will talk about, you know, foods I'm eating. I will talk about things I am doing to help my weight and to get healthier, but it's not going to be centered on weight loss. My channel is very encompassing of my entire journey of starting at rock bottom and what that looks like for me and what that means for me and what I am doing to sort of baby step my way out of that. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but I plan to talk more about all the things that I'm trying to figure out and all the things that I'm experiencing and want to get better with. So this is more so of a mental health channel and a definitely part of weight loss, but more so like being healthy and eating better. Um, and eventually, you know, becoming fit and not so much just worrying about this number on the scale. So if that's something you might be interested in, then feel free to stick around and subscribe if you're not already. Um, if not, that's totally fine. Not everything is for everybody. And um, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or evening or whatever time you watch this. And I will see you in the next one.